Hey guys, it's Emilio Espinosa with Espinosa and Associates, and I'm here to give you the market stats for the month of June. Now, we're about six weeks into, uh, into what, you know, with this new uh, stress test change that we uh, encountered June the 1st, and what we've seen in the market is the, this uh, absolution that I think everybody's been waiting for to see how the market was going to react, um, especially when this is something that came in that was introduced, sorry, back in, you know, 2017, 2018, that absolution never came. Um, you're, you're seeing that, uh, uh, what we've seen is that people were hoping for the market to really get adjusted like it did back then, and it has not. Uh, looking at the numbers here for, for the, you know, the month-to-month -month trends, if you, we look at, you know, what happened in, in, in May, what happened in June, uh, sales are, are obviously there's less sales than we've experienced, but the most notable part here is the pricing. Pricing really hasn't really moved much in in the Missis in the Mississauga, Oakville, Milton, or Toronto markets. As a matter of fact, this is pretty much you know can be said for a lot of the, the GTA and and even extended markets. We're seeing we look at detached per se. Um, you're looking at you know in Mississauga the average price is down. Roughly 1.76 percent in Oakville, it's up one percent. Milton is down two and a half percent, the average price in Toronto, it's down one percent. When we look at semis, you know, we, we see that in Mississauga, um, you know, mark the uh, pricing, the average price of a semi is down about two percent. In Oakville, it's down three percent. Milton, it's up about just half a percent. Toronto, it's down 4.45% as a whole. And in the West, where you know, traditionally this is, would be uh, Etobicoke, the pricing is up 2.5%. And in Central, which is mainly like downtown uh, Toronto, we're looking at about um, uh, a reduced in price, average price of 6.84%. Again, I can give you, bombard you with numbers, but overall, this is what we're, we're seeing, that pricing has been maintained, Activity, yes, the sales have, have lowered, but that's traditional of the market. Why? Because this is the summer. People get distracted, especially this year, where uh, we're finally getting out of this uh, pandemic, pandemic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think people are tired. People want to get out. People want to start enjoying the patio. I'm sure you guys have been seeing that, seeing that out, you know, wherever you are in the city. People want to get out and play, you know, rec recreational soccer is back. Um, activities are back, so... People are camping, people are, people are starting to get back to the norm. So I'm not surprised that real estate isn't the main focus. And yes, we see it in the sales, but the pricing. Um, what we do suspect is that once the government starts making announcements about what they intend to do with borders, with opening up the borders, it'll be, uh, my, my assessment, my opinion is that the market will pick up because right now we've been dealing with a lot of local market. Um, we're going to see immigration come in. Uh, you're going to see that that amount of people, that the, the number of people that are coming into the GTA to be buying the freehold, I think that's going to probably um, boost up the market a little bit. Condos, I think condos are going to be catching uh, a lot of wind here, especially from students coming to, abroad students coming to the, to the GTA. There's still a big local rental market and because the market was so hot that a lot of these, the houses that would have been rented actually sold and exchanged hands to end users. So a lot of these end users now are occupying these houses and your, your uh, rent to market shrunk. But the pool is remained. And especially now where prices have gotten to where they are, a lot of people can't afford real estate. So they're kind of forced to rent. Kind of looks like, or kind of, resembles New York, doesn't it? So this is something to keep in mind. I, I, I also feel that as, as in, if you're you know, looking at pre-construction, make sure you, you contact us. There's a, a lot of local projects in the area in the GTA that, that are very lucrative with great payment incentives that I think in the upcoming months and years when these projects are done, I, 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 I believe and I feel confident that our market, our rental market is gonna rebound. So as an investor, stop waiting. Call us now, get, get into that right now, because when we're looking at condos now, 
the average price, whether you're looking at Mississauga or Toronto, hasn't really done much on a month-to-month basis. On the year-to-year, yes. But sales, sales, uh, if you look at Mississauga, sales on a month-to-month, sales are up 14%. And in Toronto, uh, not much fluctuation as far as sales, um, but you're starting to see this segment of the market really pick up. So I, I, I don't want to be like, give you, you know, bombard you with, uh, with, with heavy numbers. I want to make sure I give you guys information that makes sense and that you can digest. This is basically your, your market stats for the month. Um, I, I'm confident that even July will kind of show us the same kind of trends. But again, if you're looking at renting or getting into the market or, or as an investor, I think uh, in the condo segment, this is your time now. Don't wait. Because if you're contacting us in three, four, six months or in a year from now, I think the, the dynamics of this market is drastically going to change, especially since freehold pricing has elevated so much. There's a still a, a pool of first-time buyers and people that want to get in the market that just can't afford it. So what are they going to do? Let's buy a condo. Let's buy a one-bedroom. Let's buy a one-bedroom and a den. Let's buy a two-bedroom. And, and let's, see what we, you know, let's see what equity we can build so that we can make that jump into the, that segment. I hope you guys enjoy this. Again, make sure you contact us, 905-568-2121. Info at espinozateam.com. We're here to help. We got a team ready to help you. So please, don't wait and enjoy yourself.